Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you how to recover a corrupted hard drive or your corrupted volume. You can also recover your corrupted USB as well. So, as you can see I've got a partition in here which is uh, corrupted so it won't let me use it unless I format it. But if I format it, I'll lose everything in it. So I'm gonna be using a software called Akron is this director. And uh, we're gonna use that to uh, recover our partition. So we're gonna go on Acronis Recovery Expert and we're gonna choose next. The link will be in the description. Um, you can download the trial version and you you can recover your partition using a trial version. So there are two options in here as you can see. You can choose automatic or manual. Manual is always better because in manual you can you know what to recover. Otherwise automatic will re try to recover every every hard drives and every partition. So you're gonna go on manual and you can like you can have a good view of like which partitions are which hard drives you want to recover but as you can see it won't let us choose the partition we want to recover because it thinks that it's not corrupted so um, to make sure the software knows that it is corrupted we're gonna have to delete that um, file volume so as, just to show you guys that automatic it won't show you unless there are like a files that it really thinks is corrupted so it's always better to go for manual so I'm gonna close this now and uh, we're gonna have to delete the volume so I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna close that one and as you can see in the disk director home you can right click on the on your partition or hard drive and you can delete the volume so don't do not format it just delete it and commit the operation so uh, if you don't commit the operation it won't do it so you have to commit the operations so as you can see we have deleted our hard um, our partition and um, so we, if we use the U recovery expert now it will hopefully let us recover the partitions so we're gonna go manual and as you can see it's allowing us to click on it so we're gonna go for a complete so make sure everything in there is uh, recovered and uh, we're gonna go next uh, it might take some time depending on like how big is your uh, hard drive or your pen drive or the partition itself and and but it's worth the time because it searches for everything in your hard drive or or your drives um files can get um, partitions or hard drives or usbs can get corrupted and like it will ask you to format it and won't let you use it because like maybe you are copying a really big file or moving a big file or even deleting a big file from your drive and uh, you just forced it to um, end the operation in the middle of it so if you're like r copying a really big file and you just cancel it you'll see it it's gonna take some time but if you force it to close it then there are some file fragments that still remains in there so which causes that like the hard drive or th your flash drive to become corrupted so we're gonna um, uh, I think we're done in here you just need to click on it and uh, choose next um, yeah choose next and as you can see it shows that our hard drive is a uh, uh, recovered so we're gonna go proceed and we're gonna exit that one um, if you don't see your hard drives, do not panic. Um, because if you go on Acronis D Starter, you can see your hard drive in there, and we can also browse the files. And it's probably not showing in your my computer because you need to restart it. So it's usually solve the problem if you restart it. So we're gonna restart the computer. So after restart, even if you don't see it, as you can see in mine. Uh, don't do not panic yet because as you can see the hard drive still exists so you can browse the files but if you want it to appear in my computer all you have to do is go on computer and right click on it and choose manage you can see all the hard drives just as in uh, Akron is this director and if you go on to below storage and choose disk management you can see your hard drives and right click on the one that you want to recover for me it's this one you usually know like which one which hard drive so we're gonna add a new drive letter to it and this will solve the problem
so press ok you can choose any drive letters if you want I j I'm just gonna go for F and as you can see it, it shows our drive is working now so if you go on it and we can see all our files in there so thanks for watching and rate comment and subscribe and keep watching for more videos